Hello everyone, I will be doing a painting study on Peter Vogel's 1564 painting, The Adoration of the Kings. This painting was executed during the time of the Catholic Counter-Reformation in which the Catholic Church laid down restrictions on what painters could paint and what they could not paint. One of the most famous restrictions was that painters could not paint the Blessed Virgin Mary, Jesus, all the saints, like all the other people in the image. They had to have some distinguishing characteristics to show that they were holy and immaculate. Bugel broke this tradition and did the complete opposite. He made the Blessed Virgin Mary have purple skin and look very ugly, unlike she is in almost all Renaissance paintings. He made Jesus Christ look afraid and void, and he, Jesus looks like he's shrinking away from one of the wise men. He also made the wise men, St. Balthazar, Melchior, and Gaspar, have grotesque faces. The faces are all dirty, the hair is unkept. They look a, like a complete mess. They look very much unsaintly. And the worst of all, according to paint, um, paint historians, was that Bugel painted St. Joseph as a peasant who's fat, his beard is long, uncapped, his hair is, is, has not been trimmed in years, and he doesn't even look like he's cherishing, protecting, or adoring his foster son. He's instead leaning back to listen to the three men behind him who, who are whispering in his ear. Jesus Christ is in the center of the painting, both the vertical line and the horizontal line cut the painting in half, and Jesus is at the complete center of it. And this side is more of the light, and this side has more of a dark. But in the painting, the dark seems to overtake most of the painting, but there is still a prominent light in the left-hand corner. On the dark side, we see St. Joseph and three men and, and Balthazar. In Byzantine art, Joseph is usually seen listening to an old man who is symbolic of the devil who is telling Joseph worry and telling him you cannot possibly take care of Jesus and trying to make him despair. Bugel has this in the image. We see three men that represent the devil. The man over here has spectacles. He represents the man that is blind to Christ, who does not see his greatness or his divinity and who he actually is. The man with the grotesque face, he represents the man who has evil and vice inside of him. And the man whispering into Joseph's ear represents envy and gossip. Balthazar is also in this dark side because he comes from Africa, a land that many people saw as, at the time as being evil, destructive, unsafe because of the wild animals but also because of the bondage of Egypt that the Jews endured a very, very long time ago and how they had to be set free from that and go to the Promised Land. More, Balthazar's gift is on this side of the painting because it was an ointment placed on the dead for burial. The more case looks like a boat uh, that looks even more like a monster. Two things that Romans hated because monsters were seen as evil beings that could eat them up and the ship, because a lot of storms happened on the water, people saw it as completely unsafe. The each three kings has symbolism in the gift they bring as shown in the painting. The forest is believed to be Melchior and he gives gold. Gold a symbol of royalty. And we see that he has a lot of soldiers behind him. Soldiers that are not only his soldiers, but the soldiers of Christ, who are, lay, who are protecting him and desiring to follow him. There are 12 soldiers standing for the 12 tribes of Israel and then the 12 apostles that will come later on in the New Testament.